Okay, today we're searching for scholarly articles for Mary Therese Duffy's psychology class. You want to start at the library's homepage. There's a link to this off the CM main page. Look for it on the left hand side. Once at the library homepage, scroll down. There's a link to ProQuest right here. From home, you'll need your CM ID and your last name to access this. So you're dumped into this basic search screen. You can toggle over to an advanced screen if you like. This is the one that I prefer. It has some more options than the basic search screen. And from here, we're going to limit to just the ProQuest Psychology Journals database. I don't want to search all of these databases here because some of them aren't really relevant to the assignment. So we'll scroll down. They're alphabetical. Here it is, ProQuest Psychology Journals. And from here, uh, you make sure that you limit to full text, which is right here, and scholarly. You want to pick either scholarly or peer-reviewed for this particular assignment. We also want to make sure that we get results that are more recent, so we're going to pick anything published after 2010. So the search box here is where you'd input your search terms. I'm going to pretend that I'm looking for something related to bipolar disorder. So I'll type that in here. And we get over 1,700 results. Here's a quick tip that you can take away with you and use anywhere, even Google. Anytime you have something that's a nice phrase like this, either two or three words that work well together, always redo your search and try it in quotation marks. This has a way of more narrowly focusing your results and giving you some better results. So as you can see, it's stripped away about 100 results, which is good. I'm going to limit even further. I'm going to add another term to this. We'll do bipolar dis disorder and we'll add the term alcohol and see if we can pick up some articles that relate those two together. 63 results. This is a, a decent number to work with. So if we scroll down, you can see that all of your search options now and your limiters are on the left hand side. You could sort with the most recent ones at the top or I'm going to keep it with the most relevant results at the top. We could, if we hadn't before, limit to full text. Um, we can see how many of these are peer reviewed and it appears as though all but one are. If we hadn't already limited to scholarly journals, we could do it here. We could play around with the publication date here. And most importantly for this assignment, if you look under document type, we'll click more options to get all of them. These are the different documents that are actually in the results. And some of these we definitely don't want because commentary and editorials are something that are not studies or case studies. If you saw something in here that said case study, you definitely want to include that. That would be a, a good psychology article. So we'll exclude those two and we'll click apply. And it really just stripped away one of the results. So now I'm going to start actually looking at these. I'm going to skim the abstracts, which is just basically a brief summary of the article. And this one looks interesting. So I'll click on the link to the title to open this up. And underneath this tab here, what we get is the full text of the article. So we have our abstract at the top and then what appears to be pages and pages of the meat of the article. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see any tables, and any references, which is what these, excuse me, these particular authors used 
to uh, research their particular topic. Other options here include full text and this abstract and details. This is really important for this particular assignment and actually this is really important for creating your citation. Anything that you need to create your citation is going to be underneath this tab. See, if you look at the details here, you have some other subjects. And this is the title of the article listed under title here. All of your authors are lifted, listed here. The publication title is the title of the journal that it was published in. And here's your volume, any issue numbers that you might have, the year that it was published in the month. And this thing called a DOI, which is a document object identifier. Many APA articles will have this and many of your instructors will ask for it if it's there. So this would be the last piece that you would include. If you didn't find this, um, ask your instructor, they would probably be happy with the name of the database that this article came out of. So we'll scroll back to the top. And as you can see, you could, if you wanted to, use this, what I like to call as a cheat. And you could get a citation for any of these formats. These are pretty close to what your um, citation would look like, but just be aware that all of these um, uh, sites within different databases will always have some sort of error or mistake. So you can use this, but you have to go back and double check it for errors. So that's about all I had. I hope you enjoyed this and come and see me at the library if you have any other questions. Thanks and have a great day.